sitting at home. Guess you call us video gross. Welcome back. And you're only banking on like fucking two or three fucking shows while the rest are fucking garbage. Like, I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Like, you can't do that to fucking content creators. That fucking, like, pisses them off. And shit like that. And another thing. Nickelodeon was made in, a oh, okay. in America. Every show that ever comes Whoa. out. No matter if it's in Canada, France. That's a way to start any, a room Anywhere off. in Europe. And Shalom. America. It cut every, like, a lot of shows that they, that they get are from Canada. Like a lot of Nickelodeon shows, like in the past, and when I come from Canada, and yeah, you know, there's a lot of Canadian animation. Yeah, but what I don't get is though, like none of their content, even even from Canada, like I can understand, like say if a Canadian creator makes a show and it should come out in Canada first, like if that's a thing, like that should happen, but like Nickelodeon was made in America, North America, United States of America, like why the fuck is their content? Can you please not talk so loud. Sorry. Like, why is, like, their content not even coming out in America first? Like, all their shit goes out to France first. And France is not Ooh, even a fuck. Shot. And France is not even known for, like, their, like, like, their animation like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, usually, there's some good Canadian animation, like Edda and Eddie, and then there's terrible Canadian animation. Like, fucking a Angelina. Angela Anaconda. Yeah. Well, also, there's freaking shows like My Life Me, which was like a French anime, and it was, like, terrible. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, though, like, if you're based in America, North America, why the hell is your content and season premieres and all the new shit coming out first in France than it does in America? I don't know. By the way, look, look at the shit. Oh, the hook shot. Yeah, I was wondering what that wasn't a treasure, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's does, awesome. Does this shit come out in, in, like, the original Legend of Zelda Link to the Past? What, hookshot? Well, like, just the concept that are in this. Like, like the, like, the teleporting pots and the hookshot, because that's all from, like, fucking Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Yeah, there was no teleporting pots in uh, Link to the Past, I don't think. I think, that that's, was... where they, I think that's where they got You're their right. ideas from, then. You're right, it was, like, a, like a Wind Waker thing, really. Can I grab that with my boomerang? I should be able to. Yes, I can. Okay. And also, and now, like, I'm gonna go back to the Nickelodeon thing. Because of yeah. all, because of all of this is happening, and because of all the slander that they're getting now, and content creators are coming out and telling the truth for once, and not, and there's like, oh, I guess like a tiny revolution going around. Like, they're not like uprising Nickelodeon thing. I want to fucking get out of it. I'm gonna fucking sue your ass and whatnot. But like, they're telling it how it is now. Like how certain things are just like hush hush and like different um like different kind of like organizations and whatnot. Like they're coming out and saying this shit and and it's all true because we already knew this was gonna happen. So getting confirmation from actual fucking content creators that this is happening is actually yeah. like reconfirming that Nickelodeon is, is like the worst piece of garbage network to go to. And because of that, there's like net like streaming networks that are like um that are not like Netflix but like um. Like the like that are like um like for instance like Slingbox if you don't know what that is, it's yeah, or Play is. or PlayStation View. They're like basically they're like um they're um cable subscription services, but like they cut uh, for cord cutters. Meaning like if you don't want to go for like Optimum or Verizon or Time Warner Cable or whatever you have or Dish Network or something like that, like real cable companies like TV networks, TV comp like TV providers. You go to them, and they give you, like, a package where you can get, like, say, a, I want the children package or whatever. I can just get, like, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and Digital Channel and all this other shit on, on, and you just stream it to your to your TV, like, through the through their service. Yeah. Yeah. So shit. it's basically, like, 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 a smaller version of a cable company, and they, and they go for, like, 20 bucks for a month or whatever. It's not, like, 180 hmm. bucks or whatever, like, other, like, real cable companies are going for, are charging you for your, for your TV content. But I mean, like those kind of those kind of things, are, are streaming services out there are slowly one by one picking out Viacom and taking out all their shit and, and removing it from their network. They don't want to deal with this anymore because they know how fucking bad and horrible their their shit their shit is. I don't really blame them, to be honest. Like honestly, PlayStation or Sony and Sony came at, like made made a statement about it, saying that we re we reviewed our we reviewing all of our content. 
and to make it a better a better place for Ooh. a better place for everyone, we're removing all all known instances of Viacom from our from our streaming services at a, as of like November 11th or whatever it is. Yeah. So like, like because because this is just because like the Carl Greenblatt stuff where and where he was talking about all the shit that's been going on in Nickelodeon that happened like on on like on November like eighth or ninth or whatever, and then uh, November 11th come comes around and, and we're Viacom this. already. We're recording this 11th, uh, 14th, so, uh, November 14th, 2016. Yeah. So basically, like, two days after all this shit go down, and how they know how their content game, they're, they're treating the actual content creators, because, because I think it's, I think it more, it's more or less because of how, what Carl Greenblatt has said, but because these streaming networks that, that show, like, actual channels, channel networks, don't like we don't pay like say we're like we're paying twenty bucks for 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 a package or whatever right? Mm. That going to Nickelodeon yes they get more money but it's not a, like it's not like the hundreds of millions of dollars that they get from like Cablevision or Verizon or whatnot to to have their channels on on their on their service. Oh shit! So like it, I think it's more or less like like if you're gonna create if you're gonna like take your take create uh, um hold on Blah. let me rewind that what is this? You reading that? Yeah, what the hell? It's dangerous to go alone. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> the youth will go with me. That's right. I'm counting on you. Oh yeah, these are the cutscenes that, that that happened. They actually have real voice acting in these in the in the, in the satellite view. Okay. But um, like if you're gonna treat your developers that way, and they're not even getting paid the amount of money that you should because because of the streaming services out there. Like why, like why keep them on there then? I mean, like, there's no point. You're gonna treat your developers like crap, and they're getting paid like shit, or whatever. Oh, okay. So that was it, or is it continuing this? What the fuck? The adventure continues. No, you gotta go to week three now. I didn't even get to beat the damn dungeon boss. I guess that's where week three comes in. That that that's what I said. You remember how I said it only lasts an hour? Yeah, and like you have to actually play the whole thing and, and quickly. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things, I guess. Now, so I guess we're finished with week week two now. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna replay it after this to complete it and get the fourth tablet. All right. I mean, it's only been going on for like it's only been going on for like fifty minutes, so I guess that's almost an hour or so. Um, thank you for so much for watching. Um, we're gonna do week three next time we record. Um, um, let us know what you think below about the the Smash Brothers um, port that's coming out for the Switch, like I talked about earlier, and all the stuff that's going on with Viacom and Nickelodeon now. Let us know what you think about that, because that's like really big part of, of what, who we are. Like we we do gaming, but we also did Crossover Bros, and since Crossover Bros is not really a thing anymore. We have to talk about the kind of shit here and there because this stuff is important. Like if if like like if, if like if you like if you support all your all the, all all this shit and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes and now you know that this shit's coming out and all the, all the bad shit's coming out and being talked about now. It's good that you know about it now because now you, you have an idea. Like like I'm not supportive of Nickelodeon whatsoever except for like SpongeBob still and and. And what do the you call it? House. And the Loud House. But that's all, I'm only supporting the creator, not Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon go shove it up their ass. They don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore. Shove up your ugly ass. But oh. let us know. But let us know what you think about you about know, all this going on. You know what I think is messed up, and this is actually kind of relevant to Nickelodeon. Before we end this, people, if you ever liked Legend of uh, Legend of Korra. I'm not a fan of Avatar, but I do know this from research and stuff. Um, that show, like Symbionic Titan and another show I didn't care about called Mega's XLR, those were Cartoon Network shows. Um, Symbionic Titan was a show made by Gendy Tartakovsky, Tartakovsky, who made Samurai Jack and Dexter's Lab. And it was a show about three aliens... Well, one of them is like an alien, like robot, and they're trying to fit into human society while hiding their secret identity. Otherwise, they'll put Earth at risk. And it was a phenomenal show that lasted 20 episodes. You should watch it, Jeff. It's great. Um, I heard about it. It's great. <laughs> and 
That show didn't get renewed for another season. You want to know why? Why? Because Cartoon Network couldn't afford to find a t to get a toy <laughs> license deal for that show. And you know what they did because of that? What? They gave that the treatment, which a couple years later Nickelodeon did with uh, Legend of Korra and what Cartoon Network did years prior with the Megas XLR, where they write the show off through their taxes, so that way they can write it off as a failure and get all their money back that they spent on producing the show and making it. That way they can just, like, never ever air the show ever again for even reruns. And that's what companies do with shows like that, is, like, that's how they'll get their money back. So it's like, alright, we'll write it off as a failure through taxes. That's different, though, because they do show Legend of Korra, though. They still show that show. That's kind of weird, because that show got that same treatment, and then they released, like, two episodes at a time online for no reason at all, and it was like, like, for the last episodes, you had to watch them online. That's, I heard about that. That's stupid. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it wasn't their, it wasn't Nickelodeon's decision to, to move it over to fucking, what do you call it? Like, they, they kept it on, they kept it on Nick, Nickelodeon, that, the main Nickelodeon network, but... They, it was, it wasn't their decision, it was the creative decision, because they didn't want to fucking deal with the bullshit that was going on, because they were getting treated unfairly. Yeah. So they moved it over to, to, what do you call it, to, um, online, online, for whatever, whatever network, whatever website it's on now, but. And you know what's messed up is, any merchandise a network makes, like Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or any animation, uh, network, any show, like, they make... Like, the creator just gets paid straight up front by the network for their work, and any money made off of, like, toy sales or DVD yeah, sales... Yeah, they, they go to the network, yeah. Or reruns or anything like that. The creators don't get any of that. That's all goes to the network. The creators yeah. get one check up front for the whole show, and that's it. That's what they did with the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, and you should look up and watch a pilot that that happened with, with the creator that made the pilot. I forgot his name, but it's a really good pilot online you can watch. It's called um, Maximum Pain, and it was aired on Nickelodeon, like, sometime after 9-11 happened. So that's probably why it didn't... That's one of the reasons why I think it didn't get Greenland for a series. Because there was a reference to 9/11 happening in a show with like the a air like a plane hitting or helicopter hitting these two towers, and people I guess felt uncomfortable about um, about it, and that was one of the reasons I think why the show didn't get greenlit for a series. And it's an incredible pilot too. Mr. Enter did an admirable animation on it a while back. I'll send you the link to it afterwards because I really want you to watch it. It's like 11 minutes long. I'll take a look and at it. If it did Greg Greenlight for a series, you know what it would have been? What? The very first Nickelodeon, like, action animated series before Avatar. So it would have been Avatar before Avatar. Well, technically this... Avatar was probably the only and one of the only network, like, um, shows that were actually, it's, it's an American anime is really what it is. It was basically going to be Avatar before Avatar. This was like three or four years before Avatar even was a thing. Like, you need to watch it. Even the animation's a little similar. But uh, it was really good. I think it was called Constant Pain or Maximum Pain. I forgot. I gotta look it up and I'll send it to you. But uh, it's so good. It's one of those things where it, like it's so much lost potential. Alright, so we're uh, done blabbering on. After this, I'm going to restart this on my own uh, to get the other two stone tablets. So we will see you guys in the next episode. Oh, it's called Constant Pain. Oh, I've okay. seen this. I've seen this before. Rewatch it if you don't remember it. It's really good. Yeah, it's an unaired Nickelodeon pilot. Yeah. Alright, so <laughs> we're going to get going. Alright, so we'll see you guys in the next um in the next Week. series, well, well, it'll be, it'll be another series, but we'll in the next um, version of this, which will be week three, and we'll see you guys then. Peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you saw in that video, please check out our latest series to the left. I hope you enjoy. It. Also, if you want more hilarious videos, please check out our other series down below. I'm sure you'll enjoy that as well. And last but not least. Please hit that subscribe button.
the more subscribers we get, the more content we can provide. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.